Hello and welcome to the lecture series of electronic devices and circuits. Today, the topic that we are going to cover is the difference between TDL and CMOS technology. First and foremost, we see that CMOS uses FETs, that is the MOSFETs. MOSFETs are essentially symmetric devices. The extreme terminal source and drain, they are inter interchangeable. The decision between source and drain is made based upon the voltage levels of the two terminals. Comparatively, TTL technology uses B BJTs or non-symmetric devices. This behavior of uh, interchangeability that was present in CMOS technology does not exist in TTL. The collector animator, which are the extreme terminals of the BJT, they are non-interchangeable. Their physical structure is different from one another. The next main difference that is often asked in interviews as well is that CMOS is essentially a voltage controlled current device. The current that is controlled is actually IT and the voltage which controls that current is BGS. Comparatively, when we look at TTL, the TTL uses BJTs and BJTs are essentially current controlled current devices. The current that is controlled is IC, whereas the current which controls the mentioned current IB. IC is for collected current, whereas IB is for base current. The next difference is between the input resistance. CMOS technology uses FETs which have very high input resistance. IG is actually equal to zero. And that is why it's input resistance high, whereas TTL uses BJTs, IBs essentially never zero. Here one point that I would like to mention is that the high input impedance of CMOS makes sure that the power consumption of CMOS uh, at idle state is much lower and it actually makes the CMOS technology ideal for small integrated devices. The next difference, MOSFETs are non-linear in working conditions. Here you can see the equation on the left side, ID is directly proportional to VG squared. Now VGS, like I mentioned, is the controlling uh, factor, which is a voltage controlled current device. So it's, this is the voltage VGS whole squared, whereas ID is the current that is being controlled. ID is proportional to VGS squared. So it's a non-linear relationship. On the other hand, in TT is IC is equal to alpha times IB. Now this is a simple linear relationship. That's it for the difference between CMOS and TTL. This should have you covered for interview questions regarding this. Thank you.